Hi there, I'm Pastor Kevin. It's time for questions from kids. Kaylee from Shawnee, Kansas asks, Why does God let some people be in positions of power if they are not good people? Well, Kaylee, that is a question that many people are asking today and have been asking for a very long time. Well, first I wanna say that none of us are good. So when we ask that question, I think sometimes we assume that we're good or that some other people are good and then some are bad. The fact of the matter is none of us are good. The only good we do comes from God. And that good comes from God through the power of his spirit. And he gives us his spirit lavishly and freely. It's also good for us to remember that we're all under God's power. We're all under God's authority. We're all under God's dominion. And whether you're a leader in a city, or you're the leader in a school, or you're the leader of a nation, we're all under God's authority. It's also good for us to remember that God can use both godly and ungodly people for his purposes. And we see that in the scripture time and time again. Sometimes God will take a mighty, strong, and powerful king and have him eating grass, have him walking around eating grass until this, until a leader turns his heart and affection to God. And then God can also use godly kings like Josiah in the Bible that chase after God and try to figure out God's plans and his purposes. And so in our Bible story today, Saul is no different. Saul is a man under God's power and under God's authority, and he chose at one time to do what was right and another time to do what is wrong. And so we all have to make those decisions every single day, whether we're in positions of authority or we're not in positions of authority, to do what the scripture tells us to do. I want to encourage you to pray for our government officials, pray for city leaders, pray for the mayor in your town, pray for the leaders in your, in your local church and pray for the leaders in your school and pray for your parents that may be leading you in all these areas. My encouragement is to pray for those people in positions of authority. Here's a question for you all. Can you think of other times God used people who did evil to ultimately bring about good?